Hello YouTube, I'm doing a review on this Nikon um, tactical rimfire scope. I looked on YouTube, they didn't have anything much. I wish they had a review um, video of the, you know, tactical rimfire series. I'll be happy to, you know, make my, um, you know, judgment on whether to buy it or not. But this will be my first video. So here we go. <clears throat> this is how it came with the box here. Two by seven times thirty-two. Got the BDC system too. The BDC stands for bullet drop chart. Tactical rimfire. Um, it also comes with their great warranty here. No fault policy, lifetime repair slash replacement exclude loss or stolen product and um that's their no fault policy so for example for example uh if everything is you know not going right you know, the turret from the inside you know kind of spins out and all that other great stuff then um they'll be happy to uh get that replacement going other than that really nice scope Here's the top of that. You got your eye relief uh, adjustment here. You know, you do a minus or plus, whichever suits your eye. Um, turret system. Also have the Nikon uh, tactical, um, you know, ring mounts on here as well. Highly nice um, scope here. Already got everything tuned in 450 yards already. So I already zeroed everything out. There it is, you can see zero. So for example, if you are shooting at a hundred yard with the scope, <clears throat> you know, if you want to adjust it up, for example, when you're at 50 yards and you're shooting at a hundred, your bullet's going to drop a lot. So you want to go ahead and bring the scope up. 12, 15, you know, how many, turns it takes to hit at a hundred yard and you know for your windage same thing for example you know just a um <clears throat> just a quick uh demo of how it is so when you're here you're shooting at a hundred yard you're right on bullseye every time and you want to go back down to 50 yard and shoot bullseye again all you got to do Turn it back to zero. Right there. Bam. You're right at zero again at 50 yards. <clears throat> so that's one of the neat thing about these tourist system. You know, for example, when you get out of the box, you're sighting it in at 50 yards. You have everything dialed in. All you do is just lift up. Put it down to zero, same thing, lift up, turn, whatever, put it down to zero. That's one way how to adjust that, or that's the only way actually. So I highly recommend this, um, you know, scope for close range. Um, if you are shooting long range, I don't really recommend it because of um, how much the power how much power you're able to draw in only. So you're roughly drawn in about seven power, which is not a lot. This scope was made for mainly, um, I say 50, you know, 75 yard and under. I don't think you want to take this out to a hundred yard because this scope is not made for it. It's made for give or take supposedly 50 yard and under. You're not going to have that much power um, to draw, you know, the target in that long range. So, um, highly recommend the scope if you are shooting short range. Um, if you want to see more of it or at the range, go ahead, drop me a comment. I'll take it out to the range, do a review um, video of me shooting it. And uh, give me a thumbs up, subscription, subscribe, and we'll see you soon.